Hi everyone, I'm greeting you from Tasi. So today, I would like to um, invite you guys Well, not exactly invite But um, I would like to show you guys What kind of things to do when you first arrive in Australia So, um, let's get started So basically, I'm with my friends here but yeah, she unfortunately doesn't want to appear but that's totally fine as I will show you guys things to do when you first arrive in Australia so as you can see in the background there is some name above which is Woolworths so first things to do is exactly doing some groceries let's go get it so basically in Australia there are three main supermarkets that are available um, here which is called Woolworths, Coles and Aldi and well basically Aldi is mainly the cheapest amongst them all meanwhile Woolworths and Coles is basically similar but anyway I'm gonna go to Woolworths and Coles and show you guys what kind of things available inside. Let's go! available here there are breads meat cookies fresh fruit and many more Once you arrive here, you might expect yourself really occupied with your stuff, with your belonging, and you don't have, um, yeah, enough time to make your food. They have a lot of plenty, well, plenty full of ready-to-eat food here as well. You can just make, microwave it, and it's ready. But anyway guys, uh, when I was first arrived here, my brain was exploding as I can't stop converting the price here with Indonesian currency, which is rupiah as like there is a huge difference in price in between like Australian dollar and Indonesian currency But anyway, I told you guys that you might expect a lot of expenses for the first three months when you are here as you are freshly here you are fresh from the oven so you definitely need to prepare some emergency food as you are totally new here so don't think too much as you will get the hang of it like for the next couple of months and let's go to the next place so here in Woolies actually they have two different um, counter which is the cash transaction and self-service checkout but you don't have to worry as I know the pain when you first arrive here, you don't have any card with you so you can do a checkout with the cash transaction there as well Really 
so this is the metro shop where you make your green card which is your bus card or metro card with you so anyway it's really really easy to make one of your green card here what you need is actually just your student ID and your passport that's it well you doesn't really necessarily need your password just bring your student ID with you but anyway um, you just go there and then you fill the form like your details then you go to the counter as someone will serve you and you just need to pay um, the card which is cost you around five dollar and then five dollar is excluded the amount that you need to pay for the fare so it's exclude the fare price so five dollar plus um, extra additional fare price that's it it's really easy and you can get it afterwards so the next thing that you should guys do is making your internet data so here in Australia there are basically three again <laughs> um, most popular and most used um, internet card which is Telstra and then Altus and Vodafone so all the internet provider here definitely have their own benefit and disadvantage as well so it's basically depends on your opinion and preference as mine actually goes to Altus as I already calculate all the benefit and disadvantage I believe this one um, is the best option that's suitable on me I choose the $180 for one year which is around $15 per month so it's quite affordable between any other plan but anyway, it's unlimited call, unlimited message, and I get around $60 gigabyte for a year. It's nearly the end of the um, year, and I still have around $30 gigabyte, which is a lot as I use Wi-Fi most of the time. But anyway, if you go to Telstra, you go to Vodafone and ask them their plan, you can choose again um, whatever internet provider that suitable for you. Yay! So the next thing to do is definitely making your own bank account, adulting. Here it is, I'm in a Commonwealth Bank already. There are actually plenty of choices that you can choose. There are Westpac, there are um, ANZ and Commonwealth Bank. But mine goes to Commonwealth Bank. So once you arrive here, you can just go inside, tell them that you want to make a student um, account back. And then you will go and wait right over there and then you will take to one of the counter and you just grab your details with you just make sure you bring your passport your visa and student card if you don't have your student card yet you can just um show your uh what is it called like student identity after that you just being got it to the next counter that where you can put your money in to your bank account already but unfortunately the card is not ready to use yet as you will get the card 
like around approximately two weeks after you make the bank bank account so just be prepared as you will use the cash that you bring before first and then later on after approximately two weeks you can use the card as the card will deliver to your home address it's definitely eating a good food after a long day let's go <laughs> definitely would be a really tiring day for you as you guys trip by yourself and you definitely deserve a nice meal after a few things doing a lot of adulting things so let's go in Day, another Kmart visit. So eventually, basically, if you need anything, as you came here, you barely bring anything. You didn't bring your pen, definitely. And any kind of homeware is available in Kmart. And they also have the best price option compared to any other store. So just go to Street Mart, straight to Kmart, straight away if you're looking for anything. If you come to Australia with your work visa, you definitely don't want to miss this out as Kmart also have plenty of shoes option that you can use and buy for your work which is the more affordable one and they also have this um, work attire that you can buy for sorry that you can buy for only $12 or around $16 which is you can get it way way more affordable compared uh, to the other places ta -da! it is here this is the last spot that we will go to which is making your student ID card so this is mine here I'm a Utah student and it's really easy and simple as you can apply online as well or you can came directly come directly to um, the office and ask them if you want to make one as I will show you as well here you go so you can just come inside and ask one of the officer what would you like to make and you will get taken to one of the counter which is there and then we'll get taken a picture and then that's it you will get your student ID right away for all of you especially if you're new in Australia so don't forget to like comment and subscribe please share this video if you are uh, feel that this video helped you as it might help other too thank you guys for watching